I, I hope this is the kind of place that, that future generations would be able to enjoy as well because we really need places like this to get away from the, all, the, uh, all the trappings of uh, modern civilization, relax and, and see our life and our role on this planet in a different way. This is the land that we're trying to save. 352 acres of land in Spencer, Massachusetts, made of forest, wetland, and field. This was originally slated for development, and they completed all the engineering for 300 condominium units and a 200,000 square foot shopping plaza. Three conservation organizations, the town of Spencer and the state of Massachusetts, have gotten together to try to save this land. It's gonna cost $2.9 million, but three quarters of that has already been secured. That leaves $650,000 that we need to raise, and we need your help. Love just sitting up on that hill as it gets dark, looking out towards the abbey over there, uh, the sunset behind the hills. Um, you can still hear the traffic on Route 9, but it gets nice and quiet and peaceful, and nobody really knows you're here. That's, I don't know, that's just, and a feeling that you can't describe. Preserving the land means saving ecosystems and crucial habitat for the species that are native to our area. It also means having an outdoor classroom that's very accessible and um, easy access for the David Prouty students. I think the vistas that you get from the different vantage points on the property. Um, it's almost like you're in the sound of music at some places at the top of a hill overlooking some pretty magnificent scenery that's still off in the distance. There's a little bit of everything there and you know around the next bend it changes. Um, you're in a deep shadowy dark wood and all of a sudden you're out on a bright sunny meadow. Um, you know your feet are in the mud and all of a sudden you know you're clambering over a stone wall so it's, everything's there. It's absolutely amazing. It's a microcosm right there in the middle of us. And I say, you know what, this is something which is very important to me, not because it's close to me, it's because when I went there, I felt like I was back in New Hampshire in the wilderness. And I said, this wilderness has to remain. I said, you can't, you can't have this, you know, development coming in there at a cost, preservation at a cost. And I say, you know what, if you can preserve this, I'll be glad to be part of that. And I want to do this. So when you have an opportunity like we have with Sibley, which is that um, there's this, this amazing, diverse landscape still looking the way it used to look, um, that, that means something. It rings true to any of us who, who grew up with that kind of land. I'm not, I'm not going to enjoy the land. I'm going to enjoy the look of the land, but I'm never going to hunt on it, ride a horse, walk on it, <laughs> snowmobile on it, do any of the things. But I still, I believe that open land is, is important, maybe for the soul of the town. Uh, it's just, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and it goes on in perpetuity. And I think people generations down the line will thank us for it. So help us save this land by making a tax-deductible contribution now. Go to SibleyFarm.org and you'll find instructions on how to give by check or credit card. If you have any questions about the project, contact any of us listed on the website. Together we can do this. Thank you. And I think the people who are very interested in conserving this land, they are the ones who are going to come out with this money. We are asking them to come down and say, you know, we need you. You know, we need you to preserve this land, we need to contribute, we need you to help us, you know, get this land. Because just because of that amount of money we are short of, we should do this, all together. Together, all together, we can do this. Help us save this land.